the according to the uh, they get central Highland organization. We are non-violent organization. Uh, the repeating about the central Highland happened today because of our people was there were suffering every single day. Vietnam have been beat them up, torture them, and arrest them, and took their land away and took farmland away and all that kind of thing. Like they forced them to the death of life. But, and this group, we don't know what happened to those people because they are daily lived out there. We are in the United States. We don't know what it caused. But I do know that one reason, because they cannot survive every day. Then they know soon later they will go to die because they don't have any farm. They don't have any rice. They don't have uh, any food at all in the table. The comparing with our people here in the United States completely different. Out there, Vietnam uh, miss people, that means police are all the way behind of our people every single day. They have the guard in the, in the gate and allow them to go or not allow them to go. They have the very powerful and they control any single of our life. And any of our villages look like in prison. The people in and out, they are caught on every single day. Whoever going out, whoever going in, that is unacceptable. Unacceptable about the control of our people there. We don't have any freedom. We don't have any better life at all. And we need the United Nations and the USA to do something to the Vietnam. Even now, we're not like uh, blame you about business, whatever you're doing, you trade with the Vietnam. But we do need you to be uh, supporting us and allow us to be got freedom and the free life for our people. We need freedom very badly. Even we go to church to worship God, they have to arrest our people too. All the pastors have been arrested and sent to jail and sentenced them to one year to 18 years. And uh, our life, all the they got Central Highland, in the Central Highland right now, they have no hope. But the United Nations, you know that Vietnam never follow about the human right. Vietnam never follow about the international law. Vietnam just say and give the money to you and you say good. But finally, we are hard inside because our people cannot do anything. Look like we are all in the jail. We are all in the prison. We are all ready to the murder. And especially our woman, beautiful young woman, have been sent out, kidnapping and human trafficking, sent to the other country like Saudi Arabia, and raped and killed. All kind of things happened to our people never ended yet. So. We need you to help our people, to separate our people from Vietnam and let to recognize our nation, the Ghana nation, and allow our determination for our own self, to take care of our own self. That's all I need. I need my new generation can be something in the future. They are younger. They know about the law. They know about the study. They know about everything in their future. I hope that, I mean, the United Nations and USA to be pay attention and come and help our people because the U United States especially, our people have been sacrificed for Vietnam War, during Vietnam War. We never involved with the war at all. Vietnam War is between Vietnam North and South and USA jump, go and help them. Then took our people to be their uh, soldier, to be their guard, to be their front line. And 250 over our people have been killed by war. But now we have to ask you, because we die for you already, but we need you to help our people to give us the freedom and peace to our people. We need life and freedom. We need to worship God with freedom. We don't need anything else beside them. Only we need freedom and peace to our people. Thank you.